you so much from the Greater Valley Area Chamber and Point University for being here today. Today. For a while now, today has been one of those days that sounded wonderful, but it was out there somewhere in the future. That really important date next summer. You know, like next summer when Point University students would begin to arrive. And West Point, indeed, the Greater Valley area would become a real university town. Well, ladies and gentlemen, next summer and that day have arrived. <laughs> Today, today, with cutting the ribbon for the new academic center, Point University is at home in West Point. We are honored to have Point call this area home, and we certainly look forward to supporting you and your students and faculty as you become a key part of growth and development in the Greater Valley area. Perhaps nothing symbolizes our joint new beginnings more than the transformation of this building where I was located for many, many years. As you go through the building after we cut the ribbon, you'll see just how it has been repurposed in the greatest way to meet student needs and yet remain a cornerstone of our community. Now, over the past several years, no one has become more familiar with all the depths of meaning of transformation than our West Point Mayor, Drew Ferguson. Good morning. This is a remarkable day in West Point, the Greater Valley area. We are truly blessed to have Point University as a part of our community. Great things are happening here. Our communities are alive. We're beginning that transformation. We're continuing that transformation. It is because of the teamwork of the communities coming together. It is the elected officials, the city staff. It is Point University's energy. It's their vision. It's God's will. And most importantly, the community itself for, for embracing this university, and we look forward to continuing to support you. This is a remarkable event. It is a remarkable institution that will have remarkable impact on our community, both in terms of economic revitalization, but most importantly because of human revitalization. This is an exciting time. We're honored to be a part of this, and we are so thankful that you have chosen us to be your home. So thank you very much. I hope you all enjoy this. The building is truly amazing, and I think the things that are going to happen in this community going forward are, going to, are, are just are some of the most exciting that we've ever had in, in this time. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you. And, of course, Lynette is sandwiched right in the middle with students going up through Lynette to attend classes in West Point back through Lynette to student housing in Valley. So Lynette is going to be very, very involved as well in Point University. Lynette Mayor Oscar Crawley. Good morning. It's good to be here this morning. As I told President Collin the last time I talked, in Chambers County, we only have about 10% of people with BS degrees in our county, and we need some more BS degrees coming from this point, University, Mr. President. And the net is right up the hill where you see that house up there, so we're not far away. <laughs> so we'd like for some of y'all to move up there on that hill and be in the net. We like that tax. But thank you all for coming. It's a blessing to have Point University in our, in our area and in our city, because it's our city right up there. You're parking lot almost in our city. So thank you all very much for coming and being in, the, in this area. We need a university, and we're going to send you all some students. Thank you. And from Valley, which provides student housing 
athletic facilities, and Saturday Skyhawk home games at Ram Stadium. Here is Mayor Arnold Leak. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, fellow mayors, Mayor Ferguson and Mayor Crowley, and congratulations, Mayor Crowley. Uh, he's, he's running unopposed, so that means he'll be next uh, term's mayor. Uh, I look around, and I'm, I'm just proud to be part of this family. As all of you know, we have come through a lot of turmoil in the last 30 years. What used to be the general offices here is no more, and now we've got something really new in, in place of it. Uh, I'm just thinking the other day of a community garden. We've got corn over here and beans over there and squash over here and watermelon over there, and it's beginning to grow. And what are you seeing here is a new plant. And Dean, Dean Collins has been working with all three cities. I can remember when we all went to uh, East Point to talk to them and talk to the students. And we could just feel the vibrant, vibrant vitality that these young people are bringing. We've got a Christian-based organization. It's modernizing itself as well, but it's bringing that good base that we all have come from, or most of us have. And I'm not ashamed to, to say that uh, you know, we believe in God and we think that God has blessed this community. It's brought us through a time when we could have evaporated easily. We might have just been empty houses here at one time. But now you've got a positive influence in the, our area going to bring in the students. It's an educational based plant, if you will, and it's going to affect all of us in a great way. So it, I hope I live long enough to see it grow to its full mature height, and I think we will. This is a, a university that's got a great history, and all of us are going to be proud that we're standing here this day. When we all come, we have different memories of what happened in West Point, Lynette, and Valley. I used to work here with Grady Webb, and if uh, any of you knew the Webb family, you could probably go on telling what I call war stories for hours. <laughs> But uh, that's gone now, but what we do have in its place is something brand new. And what we have is something positive, it's something that's really going to make us think better about ourselves. Our economy is turning around. It's, it's slower than we'd like to see it. But this is symbolic of what's to come. And I want to thank everybody for working together. I know the politics are different. Uh, the religious beliefs are always different. But we come together when it's time and we do something like this, and we can't be more proud to be a part, whatever part that is, to have Point University here in this area. You are helping us live, and I think we really like what our future is going to look like. And Eleanor, I appreciate all you guys. I can't give a pep talk like you do. And uh, I know Oscar's feeling good because he didn't have to run again, so I can see where his enthusiasm is coming from. No, I'm retiring. Uh, you know, it's going to be hard for me to stay out of it. You'll still see me around. I'll be volunteering for things that people will let me. You just volunteered at the chamber and didn't know. I have been asked to bring best wishes from one of our Alabama state representatives who was very helpful in Point University coming to the area. Representative Richard Laird is traveling today to South Dakota, but he is thinking Point, and with good reason. His grandson is senior captain of the Point University soccer team this fall. So, best wishes from Representative Lair. I know that Representative Kip Smith of the Georgia District 133 was trying to get here today. Oh, you did? Okay, good. And we have... Senator McCoon from District 29. Mr. Smith, if you could give us just a word, please, sir. And Senator McCoon, just look at that cloud up there, and yeah. you'll want to be brief. <laughs> this is great, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it's all about, a community working together for the betterment of it. Um, I mean, this is something that you all ought to be tremendously proud of. It's an honor to be here today and uh, look forward to more developments like this in the future. Thank you so much. I don't have a lot to add to what's already been said other than to say this. Uh, as a member of the Senate Higher Education Committee, I know that the great equalizer in America is the ability to access quality education and to have an institution of this caliber right here in West Point 
is a true game changer. And uh, I just want to congratulate the incredible team of local officials, with the chamber, municipal officials, county officials that have made this happen. And of course, I want to thank Point University for choosing to make West Point their home. Thank you very much. Another one who had it down to come, I'm not sure if he was able to make it, he had a complicated schedule, was U.S. Representative Lynn Westmoreland. But I know his thoughts are with us today, and just when you thought it would never happen, now you have your chance to say a few words. <laughs> Point University President Dean Collins. Thank you. There's so many people uh, to thank for days like today. I remember back to um, February 1st, I believe it was, 2011, which is only about 17, 18 months ago, when we made the announcement in the train depot um, about our arrival here. That day we sort of un unveiled our new name, Point University, and we said well, we were coming. And, and all of you were strangers uh, to me then. Uh, but we were thinking about what this could become, and we were excited, but we were unsure about how it would look and what it would feel like it, as we partner together in, in these cities. And yesterday, as I was asked to write the opening letter for our next issue of Point Magazine, I began to ponder uh, the question, when does a dream become reality, or when does a vision actually become reality? You know, is it when you make the announcement that is going to happen? Is it when you see uh, trucks outside of different buildings and obvious uh, renovation? Is it when you see um, staff move in, you know, moving trucks move up? And as I thought about that more and more, uh, I think when it becomes reality is when relationships are formed. And over the last uh, 18 months, there are many relationships that have been formed. And, and now today I stand before you, not as a stranger, but uh, I could... Uh, with help from my wife, name your names, uh, uh, many of you. Uh, I'm a little forgetful right now with all that we have going on, but, but we have been so touched and overwhelmed by um, these communities, by the city of Lynette and Valley and West Point, by the county representatives in, in Chambers County and Harris County and Troop County, by the, the leaders from all of those places, uh, by members of the chamber, the, the Greater Valley Chamber and, and the LaGrange uh, Chamber. Everyone has been so supportive, and without your support, this could have never happened. There's another group that I'd like to recognize and, and thank for making this happen, and I'm going to ask these uh, folks uh, to come forward and stand right over here uh, under this sign, and that's representatives from our Board of Trustees that were able to make it today. There are, there are seven or eight of our 20-member board that were able to free up their schedules and come. Uh, they're from different parts of Alabama and Georgia, and uh, if you'll just come up here and stand, Ralph, come this way, and Alan, and all of you guys, I just want you to... Uh, to publicly thank these men, because without their vision and their commitment, this could have never happened. So as representative of the trustees, thank you for believing in point and for making this happen. There are uh, good things to come. Uh, we're so grateful to be here. We're thankful for your attendance today. I'm going to, uh, I could go on and on and, and Someday you'll hear me go on and on, I'm sure, but I'm going to stop because it's hot, and I know that you want to get in this building and see uh, your old office, because uh, how, how many people have ever worked in this building? Raise your hand. Raise them high. Bunch, bunches of folks. So we want to hear your stories of what we did to your space that either uh, improved it or, or changed it in some ways. So I'm going to turn it back over to you. Thank you. Thank you. Our dedicatory prayer today will be delivered by Dr. Ralph Swearingen, Executive Director of the Georgia High School Association and a member of the Point University Board. After his prayer, we're going to cut the ribbon and do our traditional photo op. We'll ask everyone who has spoken today and any members of the board to please come forward. And then after we cut the rip, after we do the photo, everyone is free to go in and tour at your own pace. Dr. Swearingen. 
would you pray with me, please? Eternal Father God, we come recognizing you as the, as the God of new opportunities. We know from your word how you led your children into the promised land. We treasure from your word, your sending your son to produce new life in all who believe in him. We treasure also the stories of the apostles who took your gospel and expanded the church into new frontiers. And Father, we come today to launch out in new ways. We want to come now to dedicate this building, this entire campus, to the work of preparing workers to go into the world to influence people for Christ and the betterment of your kingdom. Father, please sanctify the administrators of this university as they work to take care of the important matters of policy. Please sanctify the dedicated faculty who share their wisdom and their passion and their love for the students in marvelous ways. Please sanctify the students who learn and grow and develop knowledge and character and commitment to influence the world for Christ. And please sanctify the supporters who undergird this institution with prayer and with very important financial gifts. And Father, in all these things, we give honor and glory and praise to you. And we ask it all in the precious name of Jesus. Amen.